from the different areas of education department. So it also helps in providing, which paves a way to the development of collaborations, networking in the area of education. The theme of this seminar is, it is NEP and their opportunities and challenges, which refers to and which aims at school and higher education institutions, both outlining the vision of new education system of India. Through NEP, the government of India has paved the way for the transformative and dynamic reform in the school and higher education system of our country. NEP 2020 was approved by Union Cabinet of India on July 29, 2020. The new education policy has replaced the previous NEP 1986. And with these few words, it has brought several changes in I mean, education system, 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 school structure, and also it has improved the contribution of 3 to 6 percent of GDP. And with these few words, I would like to conclude. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I would like to... Uh, I would like to request Praveen Pramadala, who is the I mean, IQSC Director and the University Foreign Relations Officer to address the gathering. Thank you, sir. And uh, I will not take much time because of paucity of time. On this occasion, I would like to congratulate uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, Dr. Mahendra for his uh, strength and for his vision for his, and he has done this. Give a big hand to uh, Dr. Ayan and my, my colleague. All this happening just because of our uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor sir. Honorable Vice Chancellor sir is not only an academician, he is also a very good administrator. I do not know how many number of seminars, conferences we did in past two years. It's all just happening whenever we go to him. Sir, we want to do this, he will say yes, go ahead. Go, 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 do all the conferences. Thank you very much sir. And a special thanks goes to Professor Ganda Ramesh Garu, a great teacher, a great teacher, really a great teacher. You are, you are all so lucky. I called him over phone. He told initially that I cannot come. I requested him and he said, finally, yes, Praveen, I will be there. Because I know how great a teacher is. I will tell you about him in my talk of two minutes later. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. And also, uh, special thanks to the Registrar ma'am. She is also with us and another of my colleague from Delhi University. Friends, please be attention here. Please be attention. Please, please, no phones, no WhatsApp. Switch off your phones. Next to one hour, we'll be going to hear very excellent messages from the top-notch people over here. So please try to be very, very, very attentive. I will share my experience of 25 years of service in the teaching. So when any PhD student comes to our department, okay, they simply say, sir, I want to join in your lab. They simply say, and uh, I, will, I will ask you a very simple question, why you want to join? He has no answer. Again, he will say, Sir, I am going to join you, sir. I am going to say, Sir, I am going to research you, sir. I am going to say, Sir, I am going to do the research. Sir, I am going to do the research. Sir, I am going to do the research. Can you guess what answer he will tell? If I ask the question like this, I am going to do the research. Do you know what answer they will tell? Can anyone know guess? I will tell this answer. Really, my dear friends, a very bad answer. 99% of Indians will tell this answer. Sir, will you check that, sir? You are gone. You are gone. After schooling, after intermediate degree, PG, 17 years of study, you don't know how to frame a question. You don't know how to ask a research question. You don't know how to question. You are gone. This is all because of bad teachers in the system. Yes, this is all because of bad teachers. So, teacher job is some, try to take up recommendations, all the messages which have been given from by our Dr. Ramesh sir and uh, our friend, senior most friend is here, Shankar ji, while coming on the way for three hours we are chatting, okay. So, he told me one thing on the way when we are coming back. Sir, do you know why people attend conference? Before I am telling answer, he told majority of people will attend conference for certificate, for bag, for kick. I think you are not like that. I think, okay. So please enjoy the session. Try to grab as much as information and uh, try to become a good teacher in future. 
I once again thank Dr. Ayan Mahendra for offering such a wonderful session and I wish you all good luck. Thank you very much. Dr. Mahendra and Dr. Raghu, Dr. Shankar and all the students, faculties who are here to attend this one day, a two day national seminar. This seminar is basically on the national opportunities and challenges. So you know that. Uh, with the advent of time, with the changes in the time and the globe, we are trying to inculcate new ways of study. We are trying to inculcate new ways of education. So whatever was in the past is good. So what we should do is, what is in the past and how good and how best we can do it through the new education policy is the theme. So as you are all participating in this, try to understand the inputs given by all the eminent professors who are gathered over here and the eminent speakers who will tell you the difference in inculcating new knowledge in a better way. So what we are doing, we are trying to improve our education system. We have got our uh, education stream where you will, uh, as a uh, what do you call it? When you have to join in your college of education, you should be a graduate. You are from different streams, whether it is science, arts, commerce. So how best you can teach a person who doesn't know anything. So you all basically will become teachers in your life. So you are going to teach someone who doesn't know how to learn. So if you understand how to teach in a class, how to motivate students, because you are going to build up the next generation, right? So what whoever you are teaching in the schools will one day become a scientist, will become an engineer, will become an astronomer or will become a space scientist they can, or a computer engineer, whatever they are becoming. You know, if people want to know uh, uh, subjects, they will learn. See, why I said computer engineer in the last is, there are, I have seen some cases where after finishing their basic studies, they have learned certain languages in computers and they have excelled. They need not do their engineering in computer science or any field to teach certain aspects of computers. You can learn after your basic education also. So whatever you are studying, how best you can understand, how best you can show it to the next generation. We are lacking one thing. What we are lacking is we are not able to give best results to our students. We are not able to motivate them to become a better person. As we are observing the standard of education is being uh, sort of, uh, what can I say, it can just be compromised maybe. We are not able to give the way the education should be given. So I hope you all listen to this and you, when you teach to your students, you will teach in a better way. Thank you. God bless. Yeah, thank you, sir. Vice Chancellor, sir. <laughs> Respected Arista, Madam, Professor Vidya Bhartini and the principal of this Saranapur College, Mahendar, and uh, our keynote speaker, Professor Gatta uh, Ramesh Garu, and uh, IQAC Kandiyar students, and the participants from uh, various places in Kamaradi and in Nizambad. So how many teachers are attending this conference? Teaching faculty, and other uh, research scholars, No research scholars. Huh? And, uh, and uh, of course, his, uh, his brother son also did PhD under me in physics under uh, nanoscience and nanotechnology. And the uh, students, how many? So, all are from Sarangapur College. It's a great uh, mystery, outstanding uh, the college. And uh, we are making several efforts for uh, developing of this. Uh, and, uh, PhD in uh, education and also some of the courses like uh, uh, belongs to sports and uh, physical education and uh, we are planning several aspects for particularly opening of uh, PhD admissions in education also. Either we have PhD admission in science, commerce and also MBA and uh, this year planning for uh, education also. 
and uh, making the several effects, particularly we are discussing this today on national education policy. This is uh, an outstanding conference and uh, several conferences are continuously going on NEP policies and uh, G20 summit also. We are organized last month in the Telangana University Dichbelli campus. Uh, this uh, G20 summit and the governor also attended and uh, made the function very successful. And uh, I attended two or three program on particularly national education policy. And uh, there will be a difference uh, and also similar entry any time and exist any time also possible. That is a coordinator with the uh, universities in the state of Telangana, uh, particularly Usmania, Kakatiya and our is Telangana University. And we are making a lot of efforts to exist uh, entry and exist also. Like uh, many people are uh, discontinued with their education. But particularly in any uh, policy also, you can complete your course from any university, any time. That is depend upon you, depend upon your uh, schedule also. And uh, earlier it was that uh, if degree is three years, they are given another three, four years then, that uh, your admission will be closed. Here is any if you can see what happened. Science students can do arts, arts students can do science. Science and arts commerce students can do computer applications, computer science, MTech and also other degrees also. And uh, last year particularly we are opened MSc Jivalaj in Vignur uh, campus and is a uh, very well responded and we got uh, 58 admissions out of 60. It's a very great achievement and also other thing that uh, girls student admission are more this year compared to last year and before last year also this year we got 89% of girls students in uh, Telangana University, Digital Campus and also the uh, Bignor Kamaradi Campus also. As a research scientist, I am recognized as three times a Stanford University Outstanding Scientist uh, and also top two Indian person is a very prestigious to particularly Telangana University. Earlier uh, Telangana, when I came first I tell that Telangana very sad this. Then now uh, everybody is telling that uh, Telangana University is the top most and is the world famous. An outstanding Stanford University level. And also we are planning several courses like uh, mission learning and software network. And we are planning to start this year in the Digital campus and at Vignur campus also. And other courses we are looking for particularly biotechnology aspects. And we are collaborating with the university in New Delhi. Uh, uh, Madam, that particular uh, Mona Lisa, Madam came from Amiti University and interacted with our uh, faculty and the students and uh, made excellent contribution to particularly in the field of uh, research. As a research scientist, uh, I am particularly working in nanoscience and nanotechnology and collaborating with several people in the fields of uh, like uh, botany, zoology, chemistry and also biochemistry and biotechnology also. And uh, today that biochemistry madam came from Usmania University. She is at uh, Dichbelli campus. And we are looking for several experts, national and international for collaborating all fields like uh, education, particularly education research, scientific research in particularly in nanoscience and technology. And uh, we are organizing two international conferences, one in the month of August, and uh, that is uh, advanced materials and uh, ultrasonics. And in the month of February, as a convener of Mamdala province, we organized uh, international conference in biomedicine and uh, biotechnology also. And uh, we are making our Telangana University labs very excellent at the global level also. And if you have a time, you can visit a Ditch Valley campus and the Bignur campus uh, to see the global level uh, very excellent laboratories. That uh, last month, uh, that uh, madam come from Usmania University, Zoology madam, sir, your lab looks like it. Then I told that, uh, madam, you can guide our students, your uh, board of studies and head of the department of uh, Usmania University. 
and we are appointed her as also Board of Studies of Telangana University, Dichpelli. And the Madam also made two visits and collaborating with our faculty and guiding the research for our students, particularly in the Ignore campus. Actually, that course sanctioned to Dichpelli campus, but my particular interest to uh, elaborate the PG centers like uh, Sarangapur and Bignur also. And uh, we are planning to start uh, MSc Data Analytics and Data Science also in uh, Bignur campus and also planning for one course in uh, Sarangapur campus also. <laughs> we will make this Sarangapur campus very strengthened and also outstanding. Uh, definitely it will be recognized as in a uh, global level. And our faculty members like uh, Karnakar and Suvachala and others are those who are working and they contributed from the Sarangapur campus. I am very thankful to them giving that support to particular for this uh, conference and uh, development activities of uh, Sarangapur campus. Because today we have running the three or four parallel department of information technology in the Valley campus and also we are conducting some uh, promotions for uh, faculty members uh, from uh, assistant to associate and also associate to professor and professor to senior professor. So we are uh, busy with that one, that's why I could not uh, spare more time here because of my busy schedule. Thank you very much sir. Thank you. The training of over three and of eight the Department of Education and Institution of Advanced Studies in Education of Kathak University, Varangal, for over two and a half decades. He held the position of Dean, Faculty of Education of the same university for the two decades. Professor Ganta Sir published more than 10 books and over 30 research papers in various reputed journals of India and abroad. And he has guided more than nearly more than 10 PhDs and more than 20 MPhils. And also he has been involved in various number of committees and commissions related to the education, in particular teacher education. He has submitted several research in baseline study reports to the government at a state level and at national level. He is an eloquent speaker number of budding teachers and teacher educators to mold them in the responsible instruments of change for future generations. A wide travel academic, he knew in almost all the education departments of various universities of country and abroad. And moreover, he born in Badrachalam, Ganta Ramesar obtained his doctoral studies from Usman University at a very young age. He started his teaching career from Usman University and moved to Banaras Hindu University, very prestigious at Varanasi. Varanasi, and inspired by the notion of Jamba Bhumi, he returned to his native place and served Kathi University, Varangal, in different capacities. And with this short, brief note, thank you, sir, thank you for your invitation, expert of your busy schedule. Now I request Professor Ravindra Gupta, sir, please uh, face steps, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. This is how Professor Ravindra most of our academic programs are organized in our country because of certain traditions that we inherited over centuries. That's the reason we have to follow. It is a good thing. But anyhow, I think this opportunity to remember the Honorable Vice Chancellor of this Telangana University, Professor Ravinder Garu, the Registrar, Professor Vijay Vardhini, or Vardhini, then the principal of this college, who is behind everything of this morning, function, Dr. Mahender and the other person who is behind the screen is Mahmidala, Dr. Mahmidala and the learned colleagues from Telangana University and also administrative officers who are present here and my colleagues 
in the department and also from the colleges affiliated to Telangana University. And my distinguished colleagues, once upon a time they are the students, but now they are colleagues, one working with the Delhi University, Mr. Ravin, Dr. Ravinder, Raghu Raghu, and another one is Rahula Krishna, he is working with the University of Hyderabad. And uh, Shankar he is not my student, but uh, I treat him everything in him. <laughs> On one hand, sometimes I feel like uh, I am proud to be have him a student and also a colleague and also a friend and also sometimes he guides us how to go about it. So he is omnipresent, omnipotent and everything. Shankar. And my student friends, if anybody is from the press, I also thank them for sparing their precious time because for the press nowadays education is the least subject. They want hot news, hot news are available only in politics, not in education because politics has become a central activity of everyone. But unfortunately, the press, the politicians more particularly are not recognizing the important role that the education is expected to play in the national development and its building. I hope, at least in my lifetime, that there will be a change in the attitude of the politicians that they recognize education is the only instrument with which the development and progress of this state or the nation is possible. There the press is expected to play a very important role. Before, don't expect me, expect much from me because uh, this document, the NEP 2020, which is in the series of several committee reports and documents in the post-independent era in this country. But the only thing is, the gap that took place between the earlier policy document and this policy document is almost three decades, close to more than. So therefore, sometimes Unique features are there with this document. I don't know how many of our at least MED students are the faculty working in the College of Education of Gandhi with this document. Certainly not many, because they think that policy will come and go in what way it is going to influence my job or my classroom performance and all these things. English is okay or shall I speak in Telugu? <laughs> English is okay? Fine. Because I am a Telugu medium student till my undergraduate degree. <laughs> For me, Telugu is the little convenient than English. Otherwise, if I speak in Telugu, you may think that this fellow is invited with a very big uh, backdrop and he can't even speak in English. So, I try to keep it very important. The question is, this policy document because as you are all aware that education and the society, how we develop, there should be some sort of consonance between these two. Because education is a propeller, it will push the society to move in the right direction with a little speed. But if you forget about education, Though there may be some change in the society, the change need not necessarily the way how we That will become like a, a ship without a sailor. It will go as it, it like. It should not happen. So that is the reason after thorough deliberations, the government of India decided to go for new education policy because the last policy was formulated some 30-35 years back. 
If you ask one question, to what extent we are successful in implementing 1986 policy, even in 2023, still there are several aspects which were not even touched upon. That doesn't mean we should not go for new policy. That's the reason they realized that there is a need for new education policy. Okay, fine. But this policy is different from its formulation to the implementation is slightly different from the earlier policies with which the education system functioned in this country. Earlier, generally, the policy is to come from the top. And after that, they used to place the document for discussion across the cross-section of the society. But now, for the formulation of this policy, the, the, the content has come from the ground level. From ground panchayat to the national level academics deliberated, then they formulated this policy. The second thing is, it's not a policy just for policy sake. Not like in 1986, at everywhere they have set the time frame. By 2025 it should be like this, 30 it should be like this, 35 it should be like this, 40, everything should be taken care of. That's one most important thing that we have to recognize. Because we can't wait, already three years have gone, but there is Nothing, particularly when I look at the southern states. I don't know much about because of the COVID, I am not traveling extensively in the northern part of the country. But in southern states, including our own state of Telangana, I have my own reservations whether the government accepted by policy that we are going to implement the new education policy. The Vice Chancellor may be knowing, you ask your Vice Chancellor next time even the press friends, whether the state of Telangana taken the policy decision to implement NUP 2020 in the state of Telangana or I have my own because I could not come across the statement from the heart smoke. If so, if the government of Telangana accepts the Life has become a little challenging one. Apudu chala samsara tarata, tender okodu nepe salu, nepe ledu kabati, and away under a lecho, a buddy lady stop in the morning, oka buddy with kuma. A buddy low, I premo to the Samajam low, Jeevin Chatani, Yeme Kawalo, Avali nepe chalter by the old Kapaja Peru. Buddy Kapaja Peru, but no man punches no man Java. I am able to say that Samajam is a very good thing. He is a very good thing. He is a very good thing. He is a you could have a part of the age of population growth to two point two Nunchin Kapirutu Poi, Wokan of a stage like a coacher and day, E. Janaba Piruza Ganaka Ilage and continues to go there, Renduela Yava in Artiki, Udana Saste, Ikitla Gadu and Ikitla Yal and Mother Vita Nilu Jaga Lidu, calculate this. Kapati in the population growth to control Jayal. Control Jayal and day make Tulsu up to. Medical approach. Adi Papu government ultimately they realized that education is the appropriate means with which one can create required awareness among the parents so as to have this small size family now. Therefore, the educational planners realized that from class 1 onwards we have to teach about the population or not. It's not sex education, population to begin with. It is not to be introduced as a separate subject, but in all subjects it is to be integrated. Chinna Pillar Kumano Lekkal Jeptu, Arabic School of Birthday. 
వాడు ఒక్కొక్కడికి ఒక చాక్లెట్ ఇస్తాడు బడికి నుంచి వెళ్ళిపోయాడు చాక్లెట్ ఇస్తే ఇంట్లో వీడు ఒక్కడే పిల్లడు అయితే చాక్లెట్ అంతా వీడు తింటాడు ఆ ఇంట్లో నలుగురు పిల్లలు ఉన్నారనుకోండి వాడు వీడు కొట్టారు వీడు వాడు కొట్టారు వీడు గుంజుకోరు వాడు గుంజుకోరు వీడికి ఇంత తొక్కడా మిగులుతుంది అప్పుడు ఏం చెప్పారనే ఎందుకు రా ఇందురా అని టీచర్ చెప్పాలి ఎందుకంటే మీ ఇంట్లో ఎక్కువ మంది ఉన్నారా అట్లా అట్లా వీడు పెద్దోడు అయ్యి ప్రొడక్ట్ వేసుకు వచ్చేటప్పటికి న్యాచురల్లీ ఈ ప్రిఫర్ టు హ్యావ్ స్మాల్ చిల్డ్రన్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ చిల్డ్రన్ నౌ సి హౌ సక్సెస్ఫుల్ వీ ఆర్ వీ ఆర్ నాట్ ఎబుల్ టు సెల్ దట్ అవుట్కమ్ ఇన్ ది పబ్లిక్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ నౌ దిస్ గ్రోత్ రేట్ హస్ కమ్ డౌన్ మోర్ దాన్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ ఇన్ ఇన్ దిస్ కంట్రీ ఇప్పుడు పిల్లలు ఎక్కువగా రెండు అప్పుడు చైనా వాడు మొదలు పెట్టాడు వాడు అప్రోచ్ మెడికల్ ఒకటి గంట ఎక్కువ కొంటే ఫోన్ తీస్తా అన్నాడు ఇప్పుడు వాడి ఇద్దరు గంట అప్పుడు డబ్బులు ఇస్తా అంటున్నాడు మన దగ్గర కూడా మనం కొట్టం అన్నా కానీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ద్వారా వీ కన్విన్స్ ఇన్ ది పీపుల్ అండ్ నౌ యూ ఐ థింక్ టుమారో ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ ఎనీ అంగ్ అన్మ్యారీడ్ గర్ల్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు హ్యావ్ మోర్ దాన్ ఎ చైన్ అక్కడికే కష్టం ఎక్కువ ఒకటి ఉంటే చాలా అంటున్నాడు ఇద్దరు అనేది ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ సీన్ ఇన్ అవర్ ఫ్యామిలీస్ విత్ గ్రేట్ పర్సివేషన్ ప్లీజ్ యూ హ్యావ్ అనదర్ చైల్డ్ అంటే కష్టం మీద ఒప్పుకుంటున్నారు అంటే ఇక్కడ ది సక్సెస్ కోర్స్ టు ది ఎడ్యుకేషన్ లైక్ దట్ దేర్ ఆర్ సెవరల్ ఇష్యూస్ విచ్ ఆర్ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ది సొసైటీ ఆర్ ఫేస్డ్ బై ది సొసైటీ అండ్ ది సొసైటీ ఇస్ లుకింగ్ అట్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ దీస్ ఇష్యూస్ ఆర్ టు బి అడ్రస్ ఓన్లీ బై ఎడ్యుకేషన్ దట్ ఈస్ వై ది రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ ది ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అండ్ ది టీచర్ ఈజ్ మల్టిప్లైంగ్ డే ఇన్ అండ్ డే అవుట్ earlier the job of the teacher was very simple whatever that is prescribed in the textbook you teach and go that is not the case now if the terrorism is there the school teacher is targeted if some unrest is there in the society teacher is targeted because the teachers pay to inculcate the positive values among the students and that is why there is a terrorism in the society so everything teacher is going to based the <coughs> criticism so therefore teaching job is not a leisurely job don't be under an impression teaching is an obvious thing it is the most difficult profession under this sky is teaching chaala mandu anukuntaru madam assistant registrar garu em undante teacher ni meer adha gantalo paata cheptaru avakar vadtaru mem poddulo 10 inch kotte sayantham da oka file dippale anu ఫైల్ ఇప్పుడు అన్ని గంటలు తిప్పిన వాళ్ళకంటే ఒక గంట పాఠము దాని యొక్క లక్ష్యాన్ని స్టేట్ ఆఫీసర్స్ బ్యాంక్ ఆఫీసర్స్ వీళ్ళు ఆ టైంకి వస్తారు చేస్తారు ఆ ఐదు గంటలకు కట్ట కడతారు అవతల పడేస్తారు దే కెన్ థింక్ మరి రియల్ టీచర్ ఇస్ వన్ హూ ఈస్ నాట్ లిమిటెడ్ టు ది స్పెషల్ టైమ్ దే ఆర్ టీచర్స్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ అన్లెస్ అదర్వైజ్ యూ కంట్ ఎమర్జ్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ యాజ్ అన్ ఎఫిషియంట్ ఆర్ ఎఫెక్టివ్ టీచర్ కాబట్టి ఐ సజెస్ట్ మై యంగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ స్టడీ బియర్డ్ అండ్ టు బికమ్ అన్ టీచర్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఎ లీజర్లీ యాక్టివిటీ దట్స్ వాట్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ది సొసైటీ పర్సీవ్ టీచర్ అంత సుఖమైన జాబ్ లేదు ఒక గంట పాట చెప్తే వాళ్ళ మా జాబ్ దాన్ని అది కాదు టీచర్ అనే వాడు టీచర్ ఈజ్ అ వెరీ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ జాబ్ దట్ దే ఆర్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ టు పెర్ఫామ్ కాబట్టి యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఎన్ష్యూర్ యువర్ సెల్ when you are pursuing your beard or mat no need for your university examination again that is a mere farce mockery university examination for beard is a you don't have to fail in the university la okkada tokkadu okkada fail ga endukadu endukadu videsh karulu సార్లు దిద్దరు ఎందుకంటే ఇప్పుడు ఆయన కాలేజ్ నువ్వు పేరు చేస్తే నీ కాలేజ్ వాడు పేరు చేస్తే మన మనకెందుకు నిజంగా మీ పేపర్లు దిద్దే ట్వంటీ పర్సెంట్ కూడా పాస్ కాదు ఉన్నది ఉన్నట్టు ఒప్పుకోవాలి ఎవరు లేరు మనమే ఉన్నాం కాబట్టి ఒక ఆరేడేళ్ళు నాడు ఇప్పుడే కాదు ఇంకా దిగింది ఇప్పుడు ఆరేడేళ్ళు నాడు ఎన్సిటి నేషనల్ ఎలిజిబిలిటీ టెస్ట్ అని టీచర్స్ పెట్టింది చేసి నాకు ముందు పెడితే సర్ప్రైజ్ ఏంటంటే అందులో ఎవడు సెకండ్ క్లాస్ కానీ థర్డ్ క్లాస్ లేడు మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది పీపుల్ ఆర్ ఫస్ట్ క్లాస్ అండ్ డిస్టింక్షన్ ఫ్రమ్ ది యూనివర్సిటీస్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ తెలంగాణ బట్ ఆల్ యూనివర్సిటీస్ గంటా సార్ వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ 
When a university is giving a certificate stating that they are distinction first class, when we are conducting a national eligibility test, you know it's standard, it is of high school. Ninth and tenth class questions were asked. Only two percent people passed in that examination. Means whom shall we blame? Shall we blame the teachers teaching at the degree college or in the B.Ed college? Ultimately, it is the examination conducted for the B.Ed college. Naturally, we have to take the responsibility. That is the poor quality of teacher education. This is exactly this new education policy. Even last month, when the finance minister proposed the budget, she allocated 1.12 crores and she emphasized that teacher education is to be put it on rails. Unless we strengthen teacher education, every pie that I am allocating for education will go waste. When I say teacher education, it is not just confined to B.Ed and M.Ed. Now this policy has brought in every professor teaching engineering to nanotechnology and all these things to the portals of your college of education. Tomorrow your vice chancellor should come here and learn the new pedagogical approaches in order to improve his classroom performance. He may be an eminent scientist awarded by the Stanford, but he is coming to your department tomorrow. That is what the policy document speaks about. The school of education or the college of education and the university campus is supposed to empower all the faculty members irrespective of their service level and all these things. Earlier we used to have some human resource development center, HRDCs in the universities. But now the job is going to be transferred to the education departments. Everybody has to come because across the world lot of research is taking place about the instructional strategies, teaching techniques. Unfortunately, in this country, it is observed that 94% of Indian classrooms are engaged with lecture method. That's not the case anywhere in the world. New emerging strategies are coming. It's not just integration of technology. Again, the integration of technology, theoretically, we conceived differently, but in practice, something is going on. Technology, for example, I take this one particular aspect. Not only this country, everywhere in the world, it is realizing that technology and its integration will definitely improve the quality of teaching in the class, thereby the performance among the students.